Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. I feel like there's a glare. I don't know if you guys see the glare, but I see it. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, 7 31 2022. It's the last day of July, and we are. I'm here to do the week ahead spread. Um, and I'm sorry, my computer is really tiny, and it's on my outdoor table. And I don't know if my boys broke the table while moving it when they mow the yard or what's going on but it's very everything is very wobbly so I apologize <laughs> up front um, I am using if you're just tuning into my channel I was do a, a week ahead spread using the doing the energy obstacle and advice for the week so it's a three card spread and it isn't just for me it could be for anybody and then I always pull the Oracle card and I always pulled the card deck I've been using the week before and then at, this is kind of like the last thing I do with this these decks for the week. And then I go to something else. But I'm loving these two decks together so much that I may use them another week. I'm very confused because I got the middle of last week I got the Hocus Pocus Tarot. And I really want to dive into it. But I'm loving the energy of these two decks. And this is the Tarot of Japanese Poetry uh, deck and guidebook. And then the Wisdom of Haviz. Um, and this is also like a poetry oracle deck. These two are so blended, beautiful together. Like, so sweet. Um, so serene. So peaceful. It's just... Um, I've actually teared up a few times some of the spreads I've done this week. Um, so that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm unwilling to let that go. <laughs> um... And so I may go ahead and do, let me know what you guys think. Should I continue to use these until maybe that feeling goes away or see what the Hocus Pocus has to say for the next week. Anyway, I've been using it all week. It's been beautiful, magnificent, very sweet and loving on uh, this, this, this deck, these two decks together. One is like Japanese poetry and the other is um, the Wisdom of the East Oracle is... Um, oh my gosh, I said it the other day, Persian, a Persian poet. So I love the, th the fact that it's, it's centered around writing as well, which is, I'm a writer, so it, it makes sense that I have these two decks, and it makes sense that they paired so wonderful together. So without further ado, let's get into this week's spread. So for the energy of the week, I pulled, and this is the back of the card for the tarot, the Princess of Spring. Now, this deck has five court cards. The Knave, the Princess, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. So, we're going to figure out together, because I've yet to pull a Knight, any of the court cards, really. Uh, we're about to find out, is it the Knave or the Princess that is the extra card? So, I pulled the Princess of Spring, and Spring is... Hold on one second. Okay. My neighbors came home and they parked right here. So, so we have the Princess of Spring, which is the Princess of Cups. Cups is spring in this suit. And I love this image of her. Um, she's actually reading. So it's almost like a... Like she's she's editing her work, kind of. And she's taken the, the moment after you've finished your work. Um, speaking of someone that has written a couple books, um, you can find them on Amazon. Um there's this breathing period after you finish a novel um and i feel that in this this card so there's just this for the energy of the week this need to just breathe and take a breath breathe and reboot uh kind of is what i feel on that card and i love that love that love that so hard so for the obstacle i pulled the strength card and the strength card is my card of the year this year um, I've had many obstacles this year, and we're only in July, so I'm like kind of skittish of what's going to happen the rest of the year, honestly, because there's been a lot that's gone on with me this year. Uh, but the string card is beautiful here, and he's got this majestic bird that it's almost like he's tamed the wild beast, this beautiful bird. He's tamed it. Um, but I also see that because this is the obstacle of the week. This, this is a negative to me um, where 
you know, sometimes you need to let that wild spirit out. Um, don't tam it, tamper it down because of other people. Um, I like that for that card. Show your wildness this week. Don't be afraid to show your wildness. Show that, that, that strength that you have inside of you. I love that. And then we have, ironically, in this three-card spread, I pulled princesses. <laughs> Two princesses. So I have the Princess of Autumn here for the advice for the week. And it's the Princess of Wands. And again, there's this restful, rest, resting period, it looks like. But she's still moving forward in a... Um, majestic way. I love that. So for the extra card I pulled from the Oracle deck, these are the backs and there's a gorgeous deck. Engage Trust. And it's card number one. And I've shuffled the crap out of this deck. Use it every day. Never pulled the first card in the deck, which is weird. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And it's a glossy deck, but Engage trust. And here we're going back to here, to me, the strength card where it's like, don't trust in somebody else to show your strength or tamper that down. You need to tr have that engage in trusting in yourself to know when you need to pull that strength out and show that wildness. <clears throat> and I love that. So it feels like there's like an obstacle that's going to come up and you can either let it go or show that strength that you carry within you. I love that. So for the, let me look at the book here. For the Princess of Spring. There are 87 cards in this deck. So there's four extra court cards, there's two ten of swords, um, and then there's a card before the aces, so for, for each season, so it's four of those, so it's eight, nine, ten extra cards, crazy, anyway, I'm watching the squirrel try to get in my trash right now, <sighs> so here we are, the princess of spring, and there's a haiku in each one of these cards, and then just keywords, which is all I need. <laughs> so for the princess of spring we have pears in bloom under the moonlight a girl reads a letter yoza busan is the writer of that keywords youthfulness tenderness sensitivity romance and spirituality so there's a um to me anytime you do spirituality there's a restful peaceful moment and that's still what I see there is that peaceful no matter what you're doing there's a respite that needs to be had and there's the, this is like a respite moment um, of being restful so I, I love that love it love it love it so for the strength card a loving heart is raging like an angry lion but the paradise bird of tenderness is here close by yosana akiko birth name shoho 1878 to 1942 80 wow keywords conviction courage stamina magnanimity compassion I that uh, stamina actually stood out to me with this and conviction. Conviction and stamina. Don't let somebody else because of society or whatever hold you back. And that's what I feel in this card this week is it's someone else making you feel like you're less than or um, not good enough. Um, and the strength card is saying you have the stamina, you have the strength, you have the compassion to be who you are and stay that person. You have that strength, that conviction. Um, so just, it's like water off a duck's back. And if you can get through that, 
then you have the Princess of Autumn. It's like moving from the Princess of Spring through this trial to the Princess of Autumn. Interesting. So let's see what the Princess of Autumn has to say. <sighs> Covered with a transparent haze, mountain flower flowers mesmerize my eyes. Oh, isn't it so with your beauty I can't stop looking at? Kino to Minori, 850 to 904. Wow. Keywords, enjoyment, positivity, and natural beauty. And again, if you get, get through the string card of the negativity people others throw at you. And oh, what was it? Is a movie or something I watched where they said, oh, oh yes, <laughs> Princess Bride. Funny, not Princess Bride. Princess Diaries. It's funny because it's we have two princess cards here, and that sprung to mind with this card is she, her friend made her cry in the limo, and the limo driver, the the main one of the main guys, was like, "Only you, only you have the strength to allow someone else to affect you that way. It's up to you if you want to let them put you down and and weigh you down." Um, because you have this inner strength inside of you to carry on and to progress. And I love that. Love that. So let's read what the book says in the Wisdom of Haviz. Number one. I don't know why I'm looking through the, at the book. It was number, card number one. And I can tell you right now, this book has been so beautiful. And I'm going to read you a couple of the other cards here in a minute. But it's been beautiful. Engage Trust. Love loves what it loves because of trust. We cannot know what the future holds, nor are we ever guaranteed safety or security. So we must trust what is unseen and allow our wellness to rest in what greater has in store for us. At any given moment, everything is working out for you. It's not happening to you, but for you. Wow. See, this deck knows me. Uh, this is the trust that allows the wings of psyche to unfurl. Beautiful. And I think that goes tremendous with those three cards. Tremendous. And that's been happening all week where it's just like every card just flows into each other. So beautiful. So that is this week's Ahead Spread. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. And like I said, if you um, uh, have any... Um, if you, if you want me to keep using these two decks, uh, let me know in the comments. Or if you want me to go, move on to the Hocus Pocus, let me know. Um, but yeah, this, this, these decks are beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you a couple, few cards in here. And I've done walkthroughs recently on both of these decks. Both of them. They're just stunning. Stunning artwork. And they evoke something so sweet in me. It's just, it's weird weird but that is the japanese uh the campaign uh, tarot of japanese poetry so it's poetry and mostly haikus some of those that i just read were not haikus but they're beautiful and then we have <laughs> gilded and this is a mass market um by u.s games tarot uh, wisdom of the Havis oracle <sighs> this deck has made me cry so much so it's just so stunning that card that's the card i was getting ready to find and read to you guys it says love unabashedly and it came out with a oracle or i mean a tarot card that actually had the same exact coloring in it i'm like what is happening but let me read you what this card says it's the first card i think i pulled in this deck um when i did my walkthrough and then i pulled it the next day for my lunchtime spread that i do what is happening and I pulled this like four times this week four or five times and this is the other one I just opened the book to create crazy I'll read that one to you in a minute so let me read this to you just because I want to dote on this deck a little bit I think I doted on the tarot of Japanese poetry when I did my walkthrough of it but not this one this these two decks together are just phenomenal so this says love unabashedly once the moon and I got arrested for such wild love in public, so we now meet in secret. But don't let that hold you back. We often measure love how much we're getting, how much we're giving, as if love could put 
be put on a scale. But love is a wild thing, born to be free. Let it romp and graze and frolic through the forest of your psyche. And that's funny because that's kind of the stuff that was being said in the other one. Take no stock of who owes you or what is adequate, appropriate, or sane when it comes to loving your life and dreams. Love freely. Give it away. Keep no tally. When you stop keeping score, love wins. So do you. I thought that was so freaking beautiful. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I started crying. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So let's find this card. <sighs> this deck is just... These, both of these decks are gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeousness. And the this it's a gorgeous deck. Yeah. Here's the card. This is the other card that I'm just like... It says create. And look at all them flowers. And then you have like... The background of like Persia in the background. It evokes the creative writer in me. Both of these decks do. And I love that they do that. So this says create... It can be a wonderful joy creating. A synergy is there. The sweet centering grit of purpose can move through your veins and make you glad to be alive. Now is the time to seek the nourishment of creation. The ecstasies and agonies of life are listless things until they flow through you. Alchemically changing from experience to art during the act of creating, you are an artist and life is your canvas. So whether you choose to create a sculpture, a poem, a dance, a new thought, a fresh belief, or a unique perspective. You have the power to change the world inside and around you through your unique creations. See, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's, it hits me deep. The writer in me loves these two decks. That's, and this is all the, the, the Oracle, Wisdom of the or, uh, Havis. But it's just stunning. Stunning. Like, stunning deck. So yeah, just wanted to share dote on that one a little bit, give you a little bit more information. Uh, these decks are fabulous together, um, and yeah, I'm anxious to see what you guys think if I should keep using these um, or move on. Um, let me know in the comments. But um, it is the last day of July. Um, I finished my spread, and I will see you guys another day. Bye.